So what if you wanted to have energy independence on your own? What if you wanted to have your own wind farm, your own solar farm, your own who knows what? But it doesn't make sense. Maybe you live in an apartment, maybe you live in a condo, maybe it doesn't make sense. Maybe you don't have the land, maybe you don't have the zoning, maybe you're in a historic district, maybe you just can't do it. But is there a way to still get in on it? Well, you could buy stock in this place or that, or you could just uh, find somebody. Find somebody who will let you buy into their plan. That's what Ripple Energy has to offer. And I haven't vetted these guys. I can't speak to their tenacity, veracity, authenticity. But what I can say is uh, they make a good pitch. And uh, if it's interesting to you, look into it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. So we're here at Fully Charged checking out Ripple. Wouldn't it be great if you could uh, control your own power, own your own power? Simon has a couple thoughts about that. Simon, what are we doing? So we enable households and small businesses to co-own large-scale renewable energy assets. We do this by a whopper to society structure. We bring together households all across Britain to bring together their money to buy and build out big wind farms, big solar parks. So we're in the middle of a share offer just now for the Daryl Water Solar Park down in Devon. This will be 165 acres with hosting 40 megawatts of solar panels. Now this co-op share raise is the biggest co-op share raise in British history. We're really bringing together households to do big, great things. So we've got one turbine that's operational in South Wales, yeah? That has already been generating power for 900 households. So they've been stabilizing their bills for the last year. Because as the wholesale price of power goes up, people's bills go up, yeah? With you generating your power, then when wholesale prices go up, so do the savings that you get applied to your bill from the power that you generate from your wind farm or solar farm. So in the first year of generation, those households at our grade mother wind farm, they got 250 pound savings on their bills. This year, because prices have gone up so much, they're getting an 800 pound savings on their bill. So really great stabilization effect. And of course, it means they're really creating their own green power. They've caused this thing to be built and they're creating clean green power for the life of the asset. For this solar park, that'll be for 40 years. So if the solar park outlasts them, they can transfer their share to somebody else and it can be a really cool green legacy. That is fun. So over here we've got this brochure that kind of sums it up a little bit. Step one, decide how much you want to own and buy your share. Step two, join the co-op, which owns the solar park. Step three, Ripple manages your build. So basically it's like um, any other co-op. It's very similar to, yeah, other co-ops, normal thing, one member, one hoax. Um, but here you can see, this is my consumption from my household, and there's my generation. It's not been a very windy week down in Wales, but you can see over the last 30 days, there's been some days when I've really over-generated from my wind farm in Wales. And how much does a share cost? So for the solar park, if you want more share to generate 3,000 kilowatt hours a year, that's the average household consumption, your share would cost about 3,000 pounds. But that's the one-off payment that you make. From then on, you just get savings on your fill. The operating costs of the solar park are met by the revenue generated. So the 3,000, and on a normal year, your bill's already going to be thousands thousands of pounds yeah so the, the savings of your bill are not related to how much power you're using right could, your bill will be determined by whatever tariff you're on so if you use lots of electricity your bill will be high if he's sure. low like your bill will be low the saving is according to how much power your share of the solar park has generated and the wholesale value of that power so one value of this is that this allows more funding for projects that might not otherwise be ready to get financed. Yeah, 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 very key. This is a new route to market for renewable energy developments. So I've worked in renewables for about 20 years now. And when the renewable obligations here in the UK stopped, everybody was looking at corporate power purchase agreements. 
to sell their projects and the power to the likes of Nestle and Google and Amazon. Well, that was all very well for them, for Google and Amazon, but what about your poor old household consumers? That's why I teamed up with Sarah, our chief exec and founder, to bring together households to do what they can't do individually, to basically give them the buying power collectively of Nestle and Google to get that stabilization on their bills. So the levelized cost uh, of an installation, well, the, just the installation cost for residential versus grid scale is what? Uh, five times cheaper at grid? Yeah, if, if, if you were working to install as much solar power on your roof to generate 3,000 kilowatt hours, it would cost, I, I think it's around about eight to 10,000 pounds. So the upfront cost is much cheaper when you get access to that economy of scale. And we have got a really low entry point. From as little as 25 pounds, you cannot install 25 pounds worth of solar panels on your roof. Unless they're calculators. <laughs> Put some calculators up there, it's gonna work just fine. Is this something that people are able to sell or are they obligated to hold? No, so the shares are withdrawable, but they're not transferable. So that means if you bought a thousand pounds worth of shares and then electricity prices go sky high, mm -hmm. you can't sell your shares to somebody else for five thousand pounds because they're not transferable. So this was a really important point for the Financial Conduct Authority when they approved our cooperative societies. They said these shares is not to be used as an investment vehicle. But the shares are withdrawable. So if you were to say move off to Australia, and you say, look, I can't participate in, in this anymore. I can't get the savings applied to my electricity bill because I'm not going to be in the country. We'd apply to withdraw your shares. You would then get the remaining share capital back. We'd reduce the share captive or solar upon 3% each year. So say after 10 years, you want to withdraw your remaining shares, you get 70% of your original share capital back. That seems pretty reasonable and that prevents speculative investors exactly. from driving it through Perfect. the roof yes and you said while it's not transferable or sellable exactly it can be passed down it can upon be passed death up. yes if the solar car counts a seat then your shares can be transferred to your beneficiaries and that way they too can carry on with your green legacy with us so that's the loophole all you have to do to beat the system is die <laughs> If you really want to go that far. I think that's an extreme measure. Although it'd be transferred at zero cost. So uh, that would be like you've done a, a sweet deal prior to that thing. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Uh, what am I forgetting to ask? How long is the share of Offer Open? Yes. Couple more weeks. We're targeting mid-May to wrap this oil up and get to financial flows and start the build. So we're expecting to start generating power from this solar park late summer next year. And will there be another one after this and another one after that? That's my job, yes. So I'm always talking to developers, looking at projects that are out there that are consented, not yet constructed, doing the due diligence to see is this an appropriate project for the Res Co-op model. I think that's pretty fantastic. Well, Simon, that's pretty awesome. Uh, give us the contact information. Check us out at rippleenergy.com. Pretty easy is right there, rippleenergy.com. Okay, thank you, Simon. I appreciate your time. You're welcome. Yes. So what did I miss? What did I misunderstand? Leave it all in the them comments below. Is this for real? Is this too good to be true? Is it just good enough to maybe be true? I want to hear your thoughts. Leave it all. Let me know. We got to hear from you. In the meantime, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity flop. And of course, a massive thank you to my patrons who get early access, bonus content, all that good stuff. Keep the channel running, quite literally. I could not have gone to London to get all this footage without your help. So thank you. I really really appreciate it. Everyone else, you can subscribe, you can like, you can uh, follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast. And yeah, I'll see you guys, I guess, on the next one. <laughs>